Hello friends, my name is Alex Karekis and I want to welcome you to the Finding Lost Civilization series. Today we're going to trek to a place called Little Lake located in Inyo County, California. Now the fascinating thing about this area is that it's been inhabited by ancient man for at least 10,000 years. I'll tell you this is going to be a fascinating journey because we're going to see the symbols left behind by these ancient people. And so I invite you to come trek with me. As we walk along this mesa area above the lake, what we're looking for are what we call rock circles or rock rings. Now these rock circles or rings are loose stones that are placed in a circular fashion on the ground near a flat surface. This often indicates that this was the foundation for a wiki up, uh, we'll call it a sleeping structure or a home to an ancient native. So this should be exciting to encounter one. Now the second thing that we'll be looking for are obsidian flakes. Now this area was known to be an obsidian trading route because of the abundance of obsidian in this area. And the natives that lived here traded with other natives that came far and wide to trade for this obsidian. So this would be really exciting to actually find an obsidian trading spot or an obsidian workstation and a home, a structure, or what remains, which would be the rock circle, the rock ring. Well, as we're walking along the lake here, this is really beautiful. I can see directly in front of us a point, a high point to the lake. So let's go and investigate that area. Well, this is really exciting. As I'm approaching this area, I can see a low stone wall directly in front of us. I can see it from here. Let's, let's go closer. Can you see it? Let's see if I can point it out to you with my walking stick. Okay, the low wall starts right, right there. Do you see that? Right over here. It's a very low wall. At one time, it could have been higher. Let's, let's get closer. Let's take a look. I tell you, this is, oh my goodness, look at this. Directly in front of me, I can see obsidian everywhere. So this was also a workstation, a possible trading station, a possible home. I tell you, this is exciting. Let me show you what I can see right over here. Can you see the dark spots on the ground? Let me turn around right over here. There's part of the wall right there. And look at this right here, okay. This right over here, this is all obsidian. So this is a sign that the ancients were right here at this very spot. This is truly exciting. There again is the wall right over here. Look at this. This could also have been a fabulous lookout point, like a guard tower. Again, parts of the wall, truly fascinating. And look at the ground right over here. See the dark spots right here? This is all obsidian, obsidian flakes. Anyways, look at this here. What a view, what a fantastic place. Can you imagine living here at this spot? Beautiful. friends, while on this trek, you'll probably hear a lot of noise. If you look out directly ahead of us, you'll see a truck. It's on uh, Highway 395, which uh, runs north and south. Well, my friend Dave and I just came off the top mesa right over here. And as Dave was walking down this hill, he happened to look down onto the ground. Let me show you what he saw, what he found exactly at the spot that he found it. Look at that. This is truly fantastic, fabulous. Can you see it right over here? 
So what we're gonna do over here, my friend Dave is picking it up. He has the honors of picking up this ancient arrowhead. There you go. Isn't that beautiful? I tell you, you know, it's really incredible to see a piece of ancient history right there before our very eyes, as opposed to going to a sterile museum. What we're gonna do is leave it here and then cover it up. As I said, our journeys are about finding ancient sites and documenting them. It's not about collecting artifacts. Directly ahead of us and about a third of the way up the slope is where we found the arrowhead. Now you ask yourself, why was this arrowhead here out in the middle of nowhere? But look, directly in front of us, we can see a stream bed. And water was a source of life. Animals came here to drink. And this was a fabulous place for hunters to hide out and take game for their own food. This is truly a fascinating sight. Not only do we have petroglyphs over here, uh, which is etchings in stone. I guess that's the best way to describe it, etchings or carvings or braiding into stone to create an image. But we also have pictographs. And pictographs, uh, the best way to explain those, are equivalent to a painting. Now those are really uh, tough to find in a condition like this because it's a desert-like environment here with the seasons uh, rain wind sometimes snow fierce sun so pictographs in this type of environment uh, can not stand the test of time they'll eventually be washed away but there are some images just barely visible that we can see right over here look at this over here directly in front of us there's a red pigment that was used. And you can see the outline right over here. There's a circle. Looks like, look at this, looks like a ladder going up right over here. So, look at this right over here. Probably a circle at one time. And over here, there used to be a pictograph. So, let's take a look. Let's follow this ledge right up there. Look at that, there's one right up there. Let me zoom in. There we go. Now, interestingly, you can hear the traffic uh, above my voice. <laughs> and this location is very close to the freeway. There's another pictograph right over here. All we see is uh, a line going this way and one going that way. And uh, right over there and ahead of us, there's a remnants of one right over there. Do you see it? Right up there. And over here, there used to be one. 
they have long since faded. But this is interesting. We can call that the rake. See, there's a line there and three fingers coming down. Sometimes we refer to that as the rake to describe that symbol. Well, as I'm walking along this wall here, this cliff face wall along Little Lake, I see several images that are quite interesting over here. Let's take a look at them. Uh, there's about five or six very similar images uh, right over here, for example. Look at this. Now, I can see some initials over here. So, obviously, a modern man here has come and placed his scratchings onto this cliff face wall. But look at this, here are these images again, right here, right here, here, and here. Although the meaning of most rock art has been lost in time, this symbol here is supposed to represent the back view of a bighorn sheep. In other words, this is the neck, head area, and these are the horns that turn inward right here. So, it's uh, speculative, but uh, sounds very reasonable to me. Uh, other people speculate that this image is of a bird flying. Uh, hard to say, but I think, uh, like for example, this one really does look like the back end of a bighorn sheep. starting to pick up and you, you probably could hear it and it's starting to get a little cooler but I wanted to show you this this is one of my favorite petroglyphs here there's many at this site many beautiful ones but this is somewhat simple and the thought process or design to create it is really fascinating at least for me so here's the outline right here it comes around like this then you have these very simple little dots right around here and then above it you have these squiggly lines that look like maybe lightning coming down, maybe lightning representation with rain coming down. I tell you, it's really wonderful. And I wish I knew what the artist, the person who created this image, was thinking. Anything I say about this is just my own speculation and guesswork. As I'm climbing around these boulders, I'm really careful not to step on any petroglyphs. But look at this, this is really a wonderful little petroglyph right over here. It's a petroglyph of, looks like a human figure. Look at this one directly to our front, right over here. Okay, let's uh, step down to it and take a closer look. Okay, so as I'm gonna move closer. Uh, look at this over here. First, let's look at the rectangular body right here. Rectangular body. Uh, coming down, uh, left, right foot, left, right foot, right over here. And look at this, it looks like wings over here. 
and there's a little tuft right over here, a little tuft of hair right there. And uh, this right here could very well be, this could very well be, to me it almost looks like a, an owl that's standing up with its wings spread. But it's only speculative on my part and that's what's a lot of fun. Look at this, this is fantastic. This is an incorporation of a petroglyph right here and a pictograph right over here. So it's a red okra type color. And it looks like a rectangular or a box, a box with lines through it. Uh, this is really interesting. Petroglyph with a pictograph incorporation. Right next to it, look at this here, an upside down foot. There's the toes. And over here, here's a rope side. <laughs> this is uh, the, uh, I guess the right side up footprint right over here. And uh, look at that over there. There's the double cross over there. And right in the corner is a bighorn sheep. Uh, let me go around. Let's see if I can get closer. Uh, as you can see, there's all kinds of brush here. Uh, there's other archaic pictographs right here. But there you go. There's the bighorn sheep. Over there looks like a, maybe a starburst, a lot of lines. Well, I'm high up amongst the rocks, and you can see down there if I slip and fall, it's going to be a tragedy. But look at this over here, this very interesting petroglyph over here. Look at this right over here. It looks like a centipede. Very nice. And right over here to the right, this looks like a square spiral. And right over here is a footprint. Can you see that?